Good afternoon. Yes, back to normal schedule. Almost. Five minutes off isn't that bad. Um, thanks for joining me. This is my daily broadcast, uh, all about love and relationships and romance, and particularly about love today. Um, before I start with that, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I do these talks every day called Messages to the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's is number 328. I've done a few of these. Um, and today's topic is about self-love to attract love. And this is definitely a path to true relationship. Um, I did cover this in my book, I believe. I'm trying to remember which chapter that would be. I can't obviously speak to that. But here's the thing. I was talking to a, actually talking to a client today about this. And... Recognizing in, in that case, and this may help you too, if you're someone who's been pining for a relationship, and I'm realizing as I say that, I've been covering this theme in three different ways. Hmm, interesting, okay. So yesterday's broadcast and the day before, I think, were on the same arc, but this is a different piece of the puzzle. So if you didn't catch those broadcasts, I do invite you to look at number 327 yesterday, and the one before that was 326 on Sunday. No, today's Wednesday. Monday, because today's, today's Wednesday. I'm losing track of time. This is crazy. So, um, self-love to attract love. It sounds so simple, but boy, do we miss the mark. I'm saying we because I've done it myself. You may not have, maybe not, but somebody you know has. And the the lesson here is that we have this tendency to think that we're going to find somebody else to fill us up. And I've done, I have talked about the codependent piece before, but it does bear repeating and reminding you because you may be stuck in this one. Hoping that someone's going to love you and make you feel good is what a lot of people carry into their love life. You know, as, as in, um, I think it was, it was um, Jerry Maguire, like, you complete me. Bullshit! <laughs> Sorry, but nobody else can make you feel complete and whole unless you think you're not complete and whole because the reality is you are complete and whole. This is not rocket science. This is very kindergarten stuff, but a lot of people forget this. And maybe you did, maybe you do. This may help. So self-love to attract love is a simple tool, but not always easy to remember. So I'm going to offer you some suggestions and keys that you can use to keep connecting back into that, because the more you love yourself, the more attractive you become, which is a key, the more self-sufficient you become, which is a key, and the more caring you are about yourself, so you actually raise your own standards, which is another key. Three keys for the price of one. What a deal. Again, we have this wiring that we think someone else is going to make us feel whole, that we won't be complete to meet that special person, that our love will only be available through somebody else's heart. Like they're the conduit for our love. Do you realize how crazy that sounds? I hope you do, because it is crazy. Yes, it's nice to be loved by somebody else. I'm not going to discount that. In fact, I am grateful. I, I love the feeling of being loved by somebody else. It's wonderful. But never, ever think that they're loving or not loving you makes you any less lovable and makes it think that your love is not valuable because no, neither of those two are true. Your love is totally valuable. In fact, your love is required. They say, they say, that you can only love somebody else as much as you love yourself. I disagree with that one personally because I've seen and have demonstrated myself that sometimes I love somebody else more than I love myself because the way I take care of myself indicates how much I didn't love myself when I was much I was taking care of them because I love them more. Now, none of you have ever done that, have you? Sure you haven't. <laughs> but it's a lesson we can all learn. And I've sort of learned it myself, so I'm speaking from more than a few experiences, so to be honest. Self-love to attract love. Let me get to the point now, because I've given you some of the preamble and the, par the parameters of why it's so important to love yourself. Not important, but, uh, but necessary. When you love yourself, First of all, other people won't disappoint you as much because you won't be as dependent upon their approval, their actions, their love, or anything else. Second thing is, when you love yourself, you won't be pining for love to fill you up from somewhere else, which is like being a drug addict going to get fixed by a, a supplier, which is not an ideal way to do it. And yes, you can always count on your partner to love you. That's great. But the thing is, it puts you in a very weak position, emotionally speaking, because you're codependent then. You're dependent upon the other person to love you enough to make you feel whole. If they don't do it right, you blame them. If they don't do it at all, you blame them. And if you don't feel loved, you feel less than. 
that puts you at the mercy of somebody else. That is no way to live. So, self love to attract love. Let me get back to the the, the teaching part of it, or I should say the um, homework part of this, because that's what it is the homework. If you haven't done these practices before, it's high time you start. And if you are doing them, if you've forgotten, get back on the wagon and do it again. There's two ways I'm offering. Um, actually, maybe three, but there's two definitely I want to offer you right now. Here's some things you can do for yourself. These will be homework assignments, and I do want report cards on them. <laughs> I'm kidding. But I definitely recommend you do these, and if you do have some practice with this, let me know what you feel, how you feel after doing them for a while. Um, every day, 30 days, is a, is a highly recommended suggestion. Not requirement, but a suggestion. And first one I recommend, which I've talked about many times before, is the mirror exercise. And it seems so simplistic. The other one's even simpler, actually. But the power is beyond your imagination. So in the morning when you wake up, before you go to work, or to wherever you go in the mornings, before you wake to get the kids up, whatever that is, take five minutes. And yes, you can make five minutes happen. It's possible. Get out of five minutes early, have you do that. Take five minutes in the morning before you go to work, before you get dressed, even before you go and do anything, and look in the mirror in the bathroom or bedroom, wherever it is, and look in your own eyes and connect. And see yourself fully. Not necessarily your hair being disheveled, if you've got any hair left. I mean, I don't have much myself. Um, or the way you're dressed or not dressed, or hey, if there's wrinkles or not wrinkles, etc., etc. None of that stuff. Look in your own eyes and connect to who you are, not what you appear to be, because you can judge that. I know you can. We all do. Connect into your own eyes. Feel who you are inside, the power, the majesty, the beautiful person you are inside. And tell them in the mirror that you love them. And say, I love you to that person in the mirror. The funny thing is, you might start feeling it in your chest, opening up in a new, warm way, which could be really wonderful. But do that for five minutes. Do it in the morning. And then, last thing at night when you get home, maybe before after you brush your teeth, before you go to bed, same thing again. Five minutes looking in the mirror, looking at your own eyes, reflecting back to you. And say, I love you to yourself. And connect to that place inside where love resides for five minutes. That's one. Second one you can do anywhere. This is a thing you can do in public. Yes, you can do this one in public. The other one that I wouldn't recommend doing in public, people look at you funny. But this one you can do in public, which is this. Whenever you feel stressed, and this is actually a good thing to do if you're driving. Yeah, you can do this when you're driving. When you are in a meeting, even, yes, even in a meeting, when you get stressed out by a phone call or by somebody saying something and doing something, these sort of situations, simple action, simple as can be. Hand on your chest, hand on your heart, and inwardly say to, my, say to yourself, I love myself. It sounds so simple, but you have no idea how powerful this is because most people, when something happens that they judge, they start judging themselves, like, oh, I shouldn't have done that, oh, this and that and the other, and you run, you run in circles like hamster wheels in your head, judging and blaming yourself for something you don't deserve to do that to yourself for. So instead of doing that, and I know a lot of you do that, is when something happens where, especially if you do something wrong, in quotes, that wasn't meant to be, or something does something wrong to you and you start you want to get in judgment about that, so don't go there yet. Or try not to go there. Just remember to put your hand in your heart and go, I love me. I love myself. Whatever that is for you. If you do those two exercises, the one with your hand on your heart when you have a, whenever you need to, and the five minutes morning, five minutes in the evening, every day for 30 days, I won't say your life will be magical, but it will be. I won't say your life is going to be amazing. Hi, Rebecca. Nice, Rebecca? Rebecca from Michigan. Nice to have you here. But if you do these practices every day for 30 days, your life will be transformed. You might even find yourself fully in love with yourself in a way you never had before. And the benefit is, you'll be more attractive for a relationship. I did say this is a path to a relationship. It is. But you need to do this if you want that. And the truth is, it doesn't require investment of your money. It doesn't require you spending a lot of time. It doesn't require you doing anything really except doing the one thing that maybe you forgot to do which is love yourself. So I've given you your homework. I've given you suggestions and some reasons why it would be best to do that versus something else. And also told you some situations that might be out of alignment. In case you're wondering, this is my work, my focus, my passion, my service. And if you're stuck in this area or you have some challenges, reach out to me. I do offer lots of help in this area. <laughs> 328 broadcasts indicates I know some stuff about this. Certainly study some things about this. Um... My free gift to you, as always, is my complimentary clarity conversation. It's a discovery session, 30-minute conversation where we can talk 
and I can help you get where you want to go in the area of love and relationship. To get that, you go to my website, which is barryselby.com, and you click on the Let's Chat uh, navigation, or the menu bar item. It's the first one on the left, on the navigation, on the left, on the navigation bar. Um, if you want to see my other broadcasts, they live on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, as well as on YouTube, under the channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. I'd love to hear from you how it goes for you if you do this practice. If you're already doing it, great, let me know on that too. Feel free to put comments below. If you want help, reach out to me, either over social media or you can do it through my website. Do this homework for yourself. You will get results like you have never even experienced before. That, I hope, you will try on. It may just change your life. No, it won't. It will change your life. No may about it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being me as always. I'm back in tomorrow at my regular time because it's now becoming consistent. Now I'm done with that five-day uh, leadership conscious business thing I was in. And uh, I'll have something new for you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you again soon. Bye.